Hey guys and welcome back to another daily pattern. I'm Esther and today we're going to be looking at Acts 2 verses 37 to 41. I'm very much an overthinker even with the smallest of things and I wonder if you've ever been in a situation where you have felt lost or have overthought something and don't know what to do and you have that one friend or family member that simplifies everything, reassures you and tells you it's straight. In verse 37 it says brothers what should we do? And Peter replies, repent and be baptised. He's giving them direction. He's saying, repent, be baptised, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. In the message version, it says, change your life, turn to God and be baptised. There's no uncertainty with what Peter's saying here. If you don't know what baptism is, it's a public recognition of your faith, where you get immersed into water, and Peter tells us that we will be filled with God and his blessing. We read further on where it says the promise is for you, for your children and all who are far off. We are all invited to become Christians. It doesn't matter who we are or how much shame or humiliation we have. I was baptised a few years ago and I love things to be perfect. So I planned for this event for months, making sure that everyone was invited, planning what I was going to do the night before, what outfit I was going to choose, what hairstyle I was going to have, I went through like four in like two months, what my waterproof mascara I was going to use. And when I got to the end, I knew that I had planned everything, that it was going to be perfect for everyone. But these people didn't have months to plan for this event. Peter told them about the Holy Spirit, told them to be baptised, and they did it there and then. It doesn't matter to God, the planning. It doesn't matter how we have our hair or what t-shirt we're gonna wear. What's important is when we follow him and we've asked for forgiveness for our sins. At the end of verse 41, it says, 3,000 people were added to that number that day. And I feel that's just such an encouragement to all of us that these people heard what Peter was saying and got baptised. They heard about the Holy Spirit and they followed God. So I'd love to encourage you guys today to not overthink situations. And like the people that Peter was given the message to, ask God, what should you do? I hope you guys are staying safe and well and have a lovely day.